Alright, good morning guys. Uh, we will not be riding back to Singapore because of the COVID-19 situation and the lockdown rules that Thailand and Malaysia have. As such, we have decided to actually ship the bike back from Bangkok. So today's ride is going to be about 13 hours, about nearly 700 kilometers, about 660 kilometers. Um, or 700, I'm not so sure about that. So we will be bringing our bikes to Bangkok and shipping them by container and we will be flying back to Singapore. The situation right now is we have to leave Thailand as soon as possible before further lockdown measures are actually uh, announced. So this will be the longest ride we have done in Thailand and we will give you an update once we are at Bangkok. We have completed our ride successfully. The ride wise, um, what can I say man, it's, it was just simply amazing with my brothers here. The Adventure Nomads, um, something that I can't ask for and money can't buy, the experience that we face, money can't buy. So guys, why don't you tell more about uh, what are the issues that we face and what uh, the actions we took and stuff like that. So basically, we experienced thunderstorms uh, throughout. I mean, not throughout our journey, but um, somewhere midpoint. Uh, roads were extremely slippery. There were about five accidents we came across within that stretch, uh, from actually from Bangkok onwards. Then thereafter, we experienced terrible haze. The haze wow. was pretty bad. Uh, I would say we were ranging around. 200 ish up to a maximum of maybe 500, 400 plus. Yeah, yeah, 500. Uh, during our ride. Lah. So. Oh, yeah, and we forgot the massive heat that we <laughs> Yes, uh, on some parts of Thailand, it was very hot. So I think we were experiencing about 38 degrees up to a maximum of oh, 42. 42 degrees. So certain parts. But I wouldn't say all because. Uh, Doi Itanon was cooling up the mountains, uh, that is, uh, which is supposed to be at least about 5 degrees, but apparently, uh, since it's actually a, a summer season here, uh, it's pretty hot, uh, but it's still cooling, trust me. And above that, uh, at Oep Pai, we experienced uh, quite a long stretch of off road uh, because they were resurfacing the roads. So, that was about 80 plus click, 80 plus click uh, of pure off road, uh, very dusty, and the whole place is mayhem. Um, yeah, there was much off roading actually from Chiang Rai all the way to uh, the uh, border. Uh, what border was that called? Mayside. Yeah, at Mayside border. Yeah, there was pretty much a lot of off road because of. Uh, 
besides road surfacing, there were many incomplete roads. We took actually uh, the rural roads down with a lot of winding turns. Uh, yeah, and pretty much it was very hot and uh, very dusty and very hazy as well. So guys, if uh, you intend to ride in Thailand, uh, our advice would be not to go during uh, the summer season or between uh, March and Gen April. January, so, January yeah. starts from January all the way to about April. But um, one thing good is um, we managed to actually see all the places you wanted to. And due to COVID-19, uh, there were no tourists, it was just us. Uh, that said, a lot of things were actually closed. So a lot of shops were closed, the massage were closed, the bars. Even right now, they are locking down in one of the restaurants. And current situation in Thailand is they're locking down Thailand. So there's a curfew. Currently, we're just stuck in the hotel. That's why we can do an amazing uh, vlog for you guys. <laughs> so uh, right now, we're just yes. waiting for the bike to be shipped. Um, that's our main concern and definitely going back home. The last flight is on Saturday, which is on the 28th. Today is uh, 26th. 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 So um, let's cross our fingers and, and, and see what, 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 what we can do and God help us, man. All right. Till then, we catch you. All right, guys. Take care. Open uh, to Singapore. Right. This one number. Okay. Okay.